All right. We have Zach, who is learning how to run Interceptor for us for Gen Con. And uh, in case you weren't here and you missed it, I would have referred Phil, because Zach is a jerk. However. I am. Zach is apparently able to be heard, so the microphone and everything's working. And our lovely British Joel has offered to be the guinea pig. Hi, Joel. I apologize. Hi. That's okay. <laughs> and you guys are free. Uh, you might want to move some pieces down here so we can uh, see you know. And ask him which color he wants to be. All right. Do you want to be the gold guy or the purple guy? Hold up. Nope. Wrong direction. Uh, there purple. we go. Is that purple? Yeah, purple. All right. Purple's better. So I just need to kind of set them in kind of a weird spot or put them over here. I'm in a joining room and grab my rule book. <laughs> well, it'd make it easier if you could take out your maneuver template also. Yeah. Oops. Y'all are getting crazy. Well, you know. Maneuvering and all that jazz. Nope, wrong direction. Okay, so this orange is much more this way. And that light is bright. Okay. Okay. Are you destroying my office, dude? No, I just kicked something. Okay. And now we have a dude over here. Where well, the dude grabs a book. Remember template and rule book acquired. Ooh, Ooh, fun, fun. It's getting fancy all up in this house. Oh, yeah. Amazing what we can do with technology. <laughs> all right. Uh. All right. Uh, do I need to get these spaced out a little bit better? I would put them closer together. The other yellow gold. I would move it closer to that guy, so he's on the camera at least. Okay. Well, that's fair. Uh, Ross, Joel, do you like where you're starting? I would like to be about that one about four hexes down. Two. Another couple about there. Yeah, he has and to take his shoes off to one. count. So just. Hey, listen, unlike yeah, you, I can't count to 21. Uh, All right, so. Where are we at? Probably roll for initiative. Probably. Hey, Joel, do you have a D10 near you? Or some D10? I have a appropriately themed D10. Ooh. Oh, what a coincidence. Would you roll one and give us your initiative? Ooh. Piece of candy. That is a nine. Well, so is mine. Roll again. <laughs> a less impressive four. That's a five. So, since I've got initiative, why don't you go? Why don't you move first? Okay. So, no. hold up. Why don't you explain that you, that it's kind of two halves, and why making the other one go first is better for you? Uh, oh, okay. Uh. So, whoever uh, wins the initiative roll gets to decide who moves first. Uh, the person that moves, uh, the person that moves, what is it? The person that moves second gets to shoot first. Oh. Jack's milk. 
Yes. Okay. So, and Ross can correct me, but the way I understand it is, is that each round is kind of like two halves. You have a movement half and a shooting half. And if I make you move first, then I know where you're at and I can try to move so that I can position to shoot you. If you move first, you don't know where I am at the end of the turn, right? However, if you move first, you get to shoot first, which means that if you shoot well enough and you blow them up, they don't get to shoot you at all. Is that correct, Ross? Correct. The most important thing to remember is that in the combat phase, damage happens instantly. So if you can take out a fighter's ability to shoot before he does so, he doesn't get to take a shot. So this is the chess game. Do you want to be able to line up the shot, or do you want to have to deal to shot before, uh, before you get to take yours? All right, so you won the initiative and are asking Joel to move first. So Joel, what yes. ship do you want to move, and where do you want to go? So, Ross, they just pick a number for current velocity? Right. Before rolling initiative, you should have chosen. Usually we take uh, in the four or five range for initial velocities, starting a scenario. Okay. I vote five. It's a good number. Five sounds good to me. And that's, you know, there's a spot on you. And Joel, are you going to maintain your own ship record cards? Yeah, that sun lights wash me out a bunch. Try that. That's better. Hold up. Let's see. Uh, I guess we're waiting on Joel to ask if he's maintaining his own cards, or. Oh no, you tell him about his cards. Oh. Because he wouldn't know what cards you picked out. Well, I... <clears throat> Why don't you show him your cards? Well, I, uh, Joel, if you don't want to look for them, I've got, so I've got a couple already. Okay. Because you have to use them because of the points. Yes. So. Like, yeah, you'd have to put it like in the middle. Let's see. There you go. All right. So Joel, you've got this one here. Up backwards. Because that's mirrored, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Backwards stuff. And then you got this guy here. Boom. And then you have some stats. And then you have your ships. So one of your ships is dice. Kind of cool looking ship. And it's got Excellent. some it's got some stats. They're all backwards. And you have this one over here, which I like the name of, called the Banshee. Which I also think is pretty cool looking. Yeah, as it turns out in space, you don't need to worry about aerodynamics. So, and it's got some stats. So, which... The, that one goes to that one, that okay. one goes to that one. Okay. I did, because so that one's kind of a novice pilot with a better ship, and that one's a better pilot with a okay ship. All right. So you have uh, Song GT on the Geist, and you have Rafe Hewitt Detail on the Banshee. So do you want to move your Banshee or your Geist? I would like to move the 
Christ first. No, nope, that's a banshee. This is the guy. That's that one. Yep. Um. Do you want to move the table down that way? Sorry, just get it out of the sun. I'm just asking. I, 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 I love you. I just want to get it. Climb forward so I can take my velocity. And if possible, do a turn to my right, sort of one on the side of the hex. So what a 60 degree turn or whatever it is. So... Two. Like that, and then... Then turn to that. Yeah, that's the one. I was gesturing and everything. It helped. Um, it, it did. I could tell. Okay. And is this where you want to end up? Or... Uh, Look at my turn one plan. I'm trying to be hard for you to shoot. Yeah, I think the straight on is one of the harder shots. Yeah. Yeah, well, that and the presenting your side is also a harder shot, too. Um. Okay, so you're happy with where that's at right now? Yes, I am. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so that was... Uh... Four, one. So I think that actually falls well within your stuff. means it's my first move now. No, he moves no, both of his. He moves both of his. Okay. Yep. All right. So this one. The Banshee. The Banshee. Where you want to go. Yep. Um, trying to think. You're, uh, you've got a thrust of seven on the Banshee. I'd like to move to be next to mine, by the ship, and facing in the similar direction, so. Okay. Let's take those. So. So, I'm at the end. Okay, that's what's in my way. Uh. So basically, if I can, I'd like to move it to being the the hex to the left forward than that. So, like right about here? Uh, yes. Okay. And facing that same way. Okay, so that would put that at... Okay, that's why. So that puts that at uh
So that puts that at what? Seventy. Uh, and then. Uh, facing one. Turn round to its right. Yeah, like that. So that was seven. Um, what is your thrust? Your thrust is a seven. Uh, hey, Andy. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, I've got the safe operating thrust. I think. Okay. Ross. So I know that there's whatever the movement is and then the turn and that goes against the safe operating and the uh, pilot's uh, ability. Yeah, it's the agility and toughness. Sorry, Ross. Agility and toughness for the safe agility and toughness for the safe operating thrust. Okay. He's actually within a safe operating thrust. On both? Yes. Good that means you don't have to roll. Whoa. Yeah, rolling is kind of dangerous and stuff. Yeah, but I was going to inter talk about the, uh, the the kind of the risk taking that most players just risk taking that Missouri players take. <laughs> no, that's just me. No, it was Phil and it was Zach the last time we played. Okay, I guess people in Missouri are crazy. It happens. Listen, just because we've got moonshine in our blood. <sighs> no, it's a sure, I can do that. Why I'm not? Sure dice and see. Mm -hmm. Is there a better way to learn? Listen, aim small, miss nope. small. I, I, I stumped by them to the flip and lowering by me, and I'll shoot you in the flats. I entirely think that having the top line. might help to have the uh, fighters aligned with the hex side so that uh, we can see that Joel actually doesn't have a shot so far this turn. Yeah. I guess the camera angle is uh, distorting that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And now, no, Joel, not just be aware that because the camera can move, flying off the view of the camera is not necessarily flying you off the board. Yeah, I think I spotted some of that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move that up a little. I should have worn a much more ridiculous shirt for this. I don't think you could have accomplished that. That is where you're wrong. <laughs> Does that help out? <coughs> Gentlemen, does that help any? I think you got him just too far that way. Okay. Go back the way I went. There we go. There we go. How about that? Did that help? Yeah, I'm gonna say I am. So you're facing this way, and he's got one that's yeah. coming this way. Yeah. So. Um. That's a little more accurate. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt at least to. Um, what is my max gun ammo range? So, I will 
have to... They would have to happen to remember how that one was initially facing. The which? The... Which way it was facing? <laughs> That's what the token is for. Yeah, but I put it down wrong. Uh, it was facing down towards. Like that? Yeah. Uh... Like this? So if you were facing down the same line, that was facing. But offset by one. Yeah, that was it. Like yep. this? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not completely insane, just mostly. So. Um, that particular uh, fighter has a. Uh, uh, rest of 10, and so that was 5, so we're good on that, however changing its facing would be a 3 to do this. Um, So that would take my velocity down to a two. Or am I just being a little crazy here? What's the, uh, what is the, uh, no, you're being crazy. Okay. How many hexes have you moved? What does the maneuver template say? Uh, that would put me at one, two, three, four, five forward. And then you turned. So okay. that's your, that, that's your resulting velocity It's five. Okay. Okay. And then, so, I wouldn't have enough velocity left over to uh, spin it, would I? Again, it doesn't okay. matter. Remember, your initial velocity was 5. Right. So, the thrust required to make that maneuver for velocity change is 0. Okay. And the velocity, or the thrust required to make the facing change is three. Sorry, you cut out. To make the facing change is what? How much? How much? How much uh, thrust is required to make that facing change? Uh, it looks like three. So, that's it. It's just a three thrust, three thrust maneuver, and well within the capabilities of your fighter. Okay. Awesome. Now you go to shooting. Oh, so I still got the other fighter to move. Oh, you haven't moved your other fighter. My yeah. bad, sorry. How did Joe <laughs> move both of his? Or I thought that he moved uh, both, and then the other one moved both. No, I think Joe should have alternated. Oh, my bad. That's my fault. So only fair. If Joe survives next turn. He'll get to move both his after. Okay. Uh, no matter what the uh, initiative is. So, so we go ahead and do that. So, hmm. 
I'm just moving the no, 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 camera. I Okay. Um. So. Uh, we that one has. Uh, so you, your main thing is you have a five. Yeah, I've got so a five. So did you change your velocity? Um. Uh, I went out here, and then turned here. So that's four. That's four. So. And then I wanted to spin around, which is a five. So Ross, he moved four hexes, and he's spinning around, and that's a five. So do I add those together to make a nine? No. Remember, you start out with his initial velocity, which, which is was five. Which was five. He only moved four hexes, so he slowed his so velocity. So he's got his spin. One to slow down. Right. Okay. And then how about the, uh, the cost for the turn? Which was five, so he spends six. Correct. Okay. And I have a velocity of five. Well, well within the capabilities of the, bolt, of the bolt, and your resulting end velocity okay. is four. Okay. So that next time you know your velocity is four. Okay. All right. All right. Now they take turn shooting. Uh, unfortunately, Joel has no shot. Oh. Sorry, Joel. Yes. And then... Yeah. Right. And then... Okay. So now we make an attack test, which is on the back of the thing. Well, by we, I mean me. So, an attack test is going to rain firepower. On my bolt, uh, my pilot has a gunnery of two, and since this is close range... Remember your bolt, not your uh, dart. Okay. Right. Okay. So, uh, is two still uh, close range? Correct. Okay. Goes by twos. Okay. Awesome. So at close range, I've got a firepower of six with the dart, or the bolt. Sorry, the bolt. This this guy. <laughs> I will get these names right at what? some point. Oh. Six for your firepower. Yes. Two for your gunnery. Two for the gunnery. And an additional two, and two for the target attitude. Yes. So I roll a whole fistful of dice, 10 in maximum. Like 10, 10 for sevens. Yep. Oh. Ow. Hold on. I'm going to move the camera. Sure. Aha. There you go. Hard to see, hard to see the dice on the camera. Keep yeah, them it's on the hard. Ships, I think. Yeah, they, okay. yeah, just keep them on the ships. Yeah, I tried. That looks like it's gonna hurt, but uh, yes, you are correct. So, how many hits did you get, Jack? Zach? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and a ten. So, the tens explode, correct? Yes. Correct. Okay. On this part. Yes. Not on this damage. Part. Seven. Seven total. So seven hits? Yep. So Joel, you get to save against seven hits. Okay. That's yeah. your your shield. Alright. Which one plus is this one? Plus your gun or plus one. your pilot. This one. Is it this one? So his His shield would be a four and piloting. Four. 
And you're piloting is three. three. So you're rolling seven to save seven. Okay. Uh, the eight sevens. Correct. Which, when you can see the dice, they put lovely little symbols around so we can keep them. Ah, uh, two. Oh, so two. Five. Five. Okay. Oh. This is not going to be pleasant, so. No. No. Okay. So now I need to roll the attacks for results, correct? Yes. Okay. Correct. So you roll five dice. And then that's it to the chart. Yep. Alright. Uh, so, starting from the bottom. Start with the lowest number to drag it all out. Yep. We <laughs> have Heart of Aid. So, uh, the fighter would be out of control. We have... Uh, oh, sorry. We have uh, Resilience. So, he takes a Resilience hit. Is that Todd? I don't have a Todd, did you sneak in? Yes, and, and Natty did also, and they're making cracks about my die rolling. <laughs> and we have. Well, you didn't tell me what time this was going on. It's on the schedule. It's on the schedule. You have <laughs> access to the schedule. You're smarter than me. March. You're smarter than me. You know how to do a schedule. Okay, like I said, we had that. Anyway, so uh, resilient set, what well, then what? Uh, we had two fives, which are both weapons offline. Okay. And then we've got a seven, which is an agility hit. Could have been worse, Joel. Could have been much, much worse. <laughs> kind of got off like. Okay. So, Zach, now roll your soft, your back. Resolve your second attack. Okay. Alright, and my second attack would be a oh, gunnery two. And since that is exceedingly close range, that's a four. Close range. And then uh, due to the attitude. Or, Here's my chart. Uh, that would be a plus one. Correct. Okay. So you're rolling seven dice for sevens. Yep. I got one ten and an eight. One ten again. I got two successes. Joel, your shields plus piloting. So my shields is five, my piloting is two, so it's seven, seven dice for sevens. Seven for trying to save two. Well, I got two. Perfect. Fun, fun. Uh, now, now we have a recovery um, phase. Try to get your out of control fixed. Excellent. How do I do that? <coughs> okay. Zach? Uh, the uh, dodge recovery? He's out of control. How does he recover from out of control? Okay. Uh, for uh, recovering from out of control, he will roll his pilot's cool. Plus control. Um, that was this one, I believe. So, let me change it. So, his uh, uh, control is a four, and his pilot's cool is a two. Is that six dice? Yes. Again, for sevens, I presume. Correct. Um, how many do I need, or is it just the one? Just the one. Oh, I got a ten. So you recover control, but weapons are still offline. 
That's my ship with good weapons. Alright. Um. So, uh, Drake, if I'm wrong, just, uh, he doesn't, uh, he cannot make multiple recovery attempts in the same recovery phase. He has to wait until next turn to try and recover his weapons. Roll the d10. Try to beat a four. I rolled a one. But because of Joel's disadvantage of the first time, Zach, you got to move both your fighters. Okay. Awesome. Because I screwed up. Way to go, Andy. I know. This is why we can't have nice things. Okay. Why does Phil have to live farther away? Listen. <laughs> Play. Where are you moving to, Joel? Oh no, you have to move first. Yeah, I gotta move first. Ha. Ah. Yeah, so I'm going to. Oh wow. You were just saying how silly I am. I have never used the start tokens for that purpose. Ever. <laughs> something every day, Maddie. Oh, they, they work really good for that. Yeah, they I, even... They specifically pour. Weird. I put them at the start of the combat zone for each each side of the table. That's it. I'm not sure we call it out better in uh, Leviathan. Actually, it is cool out better in the life, and I thought it was good. Okay. Um, with my... That is a dart. I'm moving, basically... Oh, I don't know that I can do that with my velocity. So, oh. Sorry. I'm moving it uh, out here. Uh... I've got a current velocity of four with the dart. Uh, yeah, that's the dart. Um, so I think I'm kind of limited in what I can do. Uh, so I'm moving it there. And okay, move the ball. Okay. I'm going to move it there, I think. Yeah, I'm going to move it there. I screwed oh, up. Wait, wait I screwed up.
All right. Uh, which one do you want to move, Joel? Um, first. And I want to bring it round to the hex that's just, as I'm looking at it on the screen, just above your alt. So right here? So, uh, no, the, the other side of it. Right here. Yeah, and facing it so I can shoot it because, you know, I'd like some revenge. Well, you know. So, best thing, Zach, is to move it there and then look on the maneuver template to see what the maneuver calls for. And facing your ship, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, hang on. Uh, the maneuver template doesn't go that far, I think? Does it go there? Yeah. I mean, it'll go here, but not here. So, Joel, amend your move appropriately, because we don't really want to be rolling off the maneuver template at this stage. I will step to there, then, um, and be able to... Because I'm the first shot. About like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that was... Unless... Actually, can I be one down from that and facing it? Because that looks to be on the maneuver template. So, one hex down from there. You're right about here? No, no. Um, other, other direction to that. Who? No, not there. There. And facing towards yours. Okay. Alright, so, yes. And that would put you at what is that, two... That's 2S0C3? Yeah, 2S0C3. So his thrust was, at the beginning of the turn... Five. Five. Needs to spend three for the change of thrust, plus three for the facing change for a total of six thrust. Okay. Six thrust, and that... A thrust of five on ship. So he needs one more thrust, and that means lighting the candles. Okay. And lighting the candles is my other chart. Yeah, that's a lighting the candles, so you'll need to roll a piloting plus control. safe operating thrust is an 8. Oh, no problem there. No. So your second ship, Joel? The other ship I would like to... Move it sort of forward on that kind of current heading. Okay. Um, it's currently at velocity 7, um, but I'd like to move it forward. As far as I can, and then spin it around safely. So let's go for... About 4 
and then facing round the other way in the hopes that will give me the best way to come back into the fight after getting my weapons back on fire. Are you good, John Beck? So far, Yeah, that would be a 4d6. Lay down, Moose. So, initial thrust of seven, mm -hmm. dropping yeah. down to four is a thrust of three, plus six, you need a thrust of nine Thank to you. carry that maneuver out. Okay, so I've got a thrust of seven on the ship, so I need to make control and pilot and get two successes. Correct. So I have control of four and a pilot of three. Two to seven. I, I hear silence. Uh, two successes and two tens. Tens don't matter. They're just they're just extra you know very good successes yeah. in this case. That's fine. I wasn't sure if I rolled them, but thank I, you. Uh, yep. So. All right. So um, I think if Joel is done with his movement, yeah, I am. Okay, that moves us on to the combat phase, and uh, this is about to be painful. So, so I believe I have a gunnery of one and a mighty firepower of two at close range. Not very painful. No. Minus the target attitude, which is a minus two, so there's one die that Joel gets to roll. Woo! Yep. <laughs> Aiming for a seven. And getting a four. I'd say that when Zach created these sides, he really handed it to the Empire. Not intentionally. <laughs> Giving him a less than stellar pilot. I think the, so, the numbers add up to about the same. Uh, so that ends the combat phase. We're on to the recovery phase. And now it's an attempt to bring your weapons back online, Joel. Which is just cool. Just cool. Yep. One success. So your weapons magically light up again and you're ready to go. And we have, what, six minutes left in the session. Okay. All right. So do we want to try another initiative? Yeah. We're, yeah. we're not going to have time for a... Uh, okay. Start. No, that's fine. I think I've got an idea of what I'm doing with it now, so... I vote we just let him go again. Good practice for Zach. <laughs> so you move and you shoot him and destroy him, and that'll make me happy. All right. Go get him, Joel. Whatever. Beat Nate. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He got a 10. I saw it. Thanks. Oh, well, that's rude. You're welcome. Well, I guess you're going to make me move first, too. Oh, you don't get to move. He gets to move <laughs> and shoot. You, you are not paying attention. He's going to move and shoot. You're just going to tell him what his numbers are. All right. Okay, so in that position, my mm -hmm. guys would stay where it is to try and kill. In fact, try and maneuver around coming behind the bolt. Okay. So that would be... Oh, where's the really old guy? Right here there, and then kind of try to face it like that. Yeah. Okay. So, that would be just a... Uh, so, that would be a two and a five. And let's see what the operating thing on that is. Uh, I think you're actually good. Curses. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so uh 
that the best range for your fighter to be at, Joel? It is, yeah. It's got firepower. Close and short is its best firepower. Okay. There's a guy saying that's firepower. Um, Pretty much. The other one I would want to move two down from where it is. There, yeah, there, and then turn it to shoot the other one. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, turn it to shoot the other one, and yeah. yeah I think it's well within my thrust starting with velocity four. Yes. Because I've got seven thrust on there, so. Yep. That was that at its optimum range. Yes. And I'd like to shoot. Okay. By all means. So the Geist has one from the pilot, two from the firepower. What do I get from being behind you? Uh, plus two. two. Plus two. So five dice on sevens. Uh, two successes. Ooh. Piece of candy. And then roll two dice damage if I you roll two dice to dodge. Your shields plus uh, gun or piloting. Okay. Yeah. I got one success. That's one hit. Which I got a five on. Okay. So uh, that puts weapons offline. Ha uh ha. -huh. On that one. Oh. Yeah, that thing seems to have a lot of guns. Um, and then the other ship is shooting at medium range. Yes. Which with the guy's gunnery gives me eight dice. What modifier do I get for that? Uh, minus two. Is a minus, yeah. And I reroll tens of attacks, don't I? Yes. Correct. Do I keep rerolling tens? Yes. yes. That that is not that does not bode well for my uh That is four hits. Oof. And what my one of my dice rolled a ten, then rolled a ten again, and then rolled a nine. Okay, so to defend that, I'll be rolling uh, my piling and my shield, which is a two and a four respectively, and that is four successes. Yep. So are you getting a little more comfortable? Uh, a little more comfortable. I need to... Joel, sounds like you're getting the hang of it. Yeah. You should play again sometime. Yeah, I should grab one of my friends. I'm British 1879 right around to get him to play it with me at some point. It's, it's actually so really fun, okay. and once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty fast. Yeah. With that, I'm going to stop the recording.